Uh, well, this is uh, Chinatown. Uh, well, it's not really Chinatown. It's, it's Burbank. Chinatown in Burbank. Uh, and this is the first scene in Gremlin. And rolling action! Going reverse, and going back, don't forget to come right towards camera. Somebody going right towards camera, towards us here. Don't be afraid. This is the scene that sets up the lead character, the picture, played by Hoyt Axman, who is uh, a not particularly successful inventor. Walking right in front of here, come right towards me. It's, it's in, this, in this very environment, this, this very seething, teeming mass of humanity, that he finds um, this strange animal. Straight up towards the camera now. That couple keep coming straight dead towards us, and then be off. I can't tell you too much of the plot, but here in Chinatown, uh, I'm looking for something unique and special. A Christmas present for my son, as it were. I do find something special. And you're going to have to go see the movie for the rest of it, kids. I think. Gremlins is a sort of a Gremlin and his boy story. It's a picture about something that probably could never happen in real life, but uh, we kind of wish parts of this movie would happen to us, and other parts of this movie we uh, hope will never happen to us. And uh, it certainly is not a horror film. It's also not a spoof on a genre. It's one of the most original things I've come across in many years which is why I bought it and gave it to Joe to make into a movie. Hey, hey John? Uh-oh. White, you're too big. Get smaller. Uh, can you walk back a little bit, like under that lamp there? Take a, a step. It'll be well timed so that you can avoid them. And I'll put him just far enough behind you so that he has to wait. How far are you going to take it? Uh, I think until you actually go down there. You know, until okay, you so we'll carry it all the way down. I'll, I'll you got it. Don't forget to do I want you to be happy, Joe, okay? There's no reason I'm doing the picture. I don't want the money. I don't care about the fame. You don't want the money? Oh, great. No, because it just don't happen. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're, I'm ready. Who's, who's ready? Raise your hand. I suppose I first heard of Gremlins uh, in the, um, the Bob Clampett cartoon uh, with Bugs Bunny. Uh, in which he's in a, an airplane, and there's some gremlins, and they're uh, trying to tear the airplane apart. <laughs> hey, get a load of this, folks. It says here, a constant menace to pilots are the gremlins who wreck planes with their... So our gremlins are somewhat different. Uh, they're sort of green, and they have big mouths, and they smile a lot, and they do incredibly rude and nasty things uh, to people, and enjoy it all the while. Uh, they're a lot like kids. We like to think of them as lovable but horrible. Uh, they start out real lovable and they get a little more horrible. <laughs> hmm. If I tell you the ending, then you'll act like you know it and it won't be as good. Oh, okay. Now, it'll only take a picture of me out in a year. A year? Oh, about a year. Bring it out no, I can't bring it out at Christmas. It's not at Christmas. Just bring it out at Christmas and it's a Christmas movie. It's not at Christmas. Well, because it's a Christmas movie, and then th two weeks after Christmas, it's, it's oh, Christmas, that was, that's old. It's, it's better for summer, because in summer, everybody's hot and sweltering, and they'd love to go see a picture that happens on Christmas. You're not buying that, huh? You're the director. <laughs> Marker. Action. I thought you said this place wasn't very far. It's not far. It's right over here. Come on. Better do it again. Right away. What do I know? I'm seeing it on TV. How could I tell? Well, in this scene, uh, the final, the last gremlin who's been pursuing me, or I've been pursuing it and been tangling with it through the whole movie, has finally uh, been trapped in a large department store, and I've had to follow it, and it's been doing various things like throwing saw blades at me and uh, throwing large boxes and a pitching machine and uh, shooting me in the arm with an arrow. And, coming at me with a chainsaw and all sorts of exciting stuff. This picture is by far the most ambitious thing I've ever worked on uh, in that the characters we've had to create for this picture are active through the entire picture and do an awful lot of stuff. Here in Gremlins, it's, uh, it's all, every other shot is a gremlin doing something.
the film is everything. I mean, it, it's, it is funny, extremely funny at times. It's really scary. I mean, scary to the point of sometimes in the middle of a, of a scene, I'll get so carried away, I'll be just completely freaked out by the end of the scene. First couple of times I worked with the gremlins, I was so frightened by them because I tried to stay away from them as much as possible. It's kind of like E.T. with teeth. What I like in movies especially is things that you, uh, are, are movies that uh, do things that you can't do in real life and um, uh, show you things that you can't see just by walking out in the street. And uh, there have been a lot of great movies that uh, show you real life as it is lived and should be lived. But um, my favorite kind of movies are the ones that show you things that you really can't see anywhere but in the movies. And this picture, believe me, you'll never see any of this stuff except in the movies. Gremlin. <laughs> what a fairy tale. <laughs> Little man, oh brother! <laughs>